Ready for a game six. This should be fun. All of these games have been dramatic. Rays are back to being the home team for game six of the American League Championship Series. Blake Snell makes his warm-up tosses today coming out of the shadows, the 6-5 left-hander in what has to be the biggest start of his career to this point. The 2-2 pitch on its way. And there is strike three called Tim Timmons with the ring up at 96. And Springer is punched out for the first out of this Friday afternoon. So Altuve with good speed is aboard. One on, one out. And here's Michael Brantley. The 3 2 pitch runner goes and it's on his way. So I'm going to miss strike three. Throw down to second. It's a good one. And Altuve is out from here to Pasadena. Uh, strike him out, throw him out, double play. And the left-hander on the mound, Fromber Valdez. How good has he been? He has been. Highest um, ground ball rate during the regular season, 60%. He's raised that to 67% in the postseason. 1-2. Swing and a miss. Got him on the curveball. One out. You'll see pitchers sometimes to start off a batter behind an account. That wasn't it. 3-2. Swing and a miss. Another hook. And Renfro goes down on strikes to end the inning. Here's Alex Bregman. He's infield looking to turn two. Blake from the set and the pitch to Bregman. Here's a swing and a hard hit shot to third. Picked by Wendell on one hop. He goes to second out. Throws the first double play. And Bregman's got to be wondering what does he have to do to get a hit off of Blake Snell. That had to be well over 100 miles an hour off the bat. Back to back walks with two outs. Here's Aledmas Diaz. A roller in the hole. The Thomas backhands it. Got a long. It's a good one. Strong arm shortstop. Two outs, runner at first, and Willie Adonis the batter. Now the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a drive to the gap in the left center. This is going to get down and go to the wall. Over to go get it is Springer. Around second on his way to third is Lau. He loses the helmet. Here's the relay to the plate. It's not going to take place. Brandon Lau slides in safely. It's 1 0 Rays here in the second. Willie Adamas with an RBI double gives the Rays the lead. The lead that the Rays have just been aching for lately. And everybody on the race has seemed to feel that they had to get a lead today to give themselves a chance to win. And Willie Adamas with two out provides it. But if you do allow yourself to think about tomorrow, you're hoping Valdez can go deep, deep, deep. So you have to be efficient here. Breaking ball got him. Strike three. That's six strikeouts for Frommer, and there's two away. Oh. All of them on the curve. Every single one. Payoff pitch, two outs. Mm. And he lost him. So Rosarena is aboard. All right, big pitch here. Runner will be going. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball, strike three. Got him. Valdez dropped it in there. Another curveball. All seven strikeouts on that Yacker. And Cash is going to go to the fireman right now. And Snell is furious. Four plus two batters for Snell. And their ace is out with two runners that are his responsibility. And let's see if Diego's got a little Houdini in him again. So now George Springer will try and make something happen. He has struck out twice today. The pitch. And that's a ground ball right side and through for a base hit. That'll score Guriel. Diaz around third and coming home. The throw will go to second base as Diaz scores standing up. The Astros take the lead on Springer's two-run single. Two to one. Boy, what a great piece of hitting by Springer. And now it's Altuve's turn. First pitch. And Jose drives this one deep down the left field line. Ball is hooking, and it one hops over off the wall. And on his way to third is Springer. He's around third and coming home, and he will score. An RBI double for Jose Altuve to make it 3-1 to one Astros. Correa has singled and struck out. 1-1. One, one. Ground ball left side out of the reach of Wendell and in the left field. Altuve scores and it's 4-1 to one Astros. Carlos Correa drives in his third run of the series. Well, he found the hole right in between the third baseman and shortstop and the Astros are stringing them together now. Three infielders on the left side for Zunino with the shift on. 0-2 pitch and a swing and a miss. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, maybe one or two pitches here. Take a chance and sit on a curve. 1-2. Swing and a miss. Got him with a two-seamer. That's Valdez's first strikeout on something other than a curveball. He's whiffed nine today, and he strands a runner. And the Rays turn to their third pitcher of the day. It is left-hander Shane McClanahan. Tucker 0 for 1 with a walk. 2-0. And Tucker lifts this one pretty deep to left center. Margot is going back at the wall. See you later. Kyle Tucker's first extra base hit of the postseason is a home run. And the Astros' lead is 5-1. to one. And the kid from Tampa will touch them all and give the Astros a four-run lead now. What a swing of the bat. First career postseason home run. And all smiles for the Astros. They have found their offensive game here in the last two innings. 
He had left Dusty <laughs> hanging. He came back. Can't leave the skipper hanging. Maybe a parting shot here. Hit the ball rolling in the right direction. Something to show a sign of life with this offense. 3 2 pitch to Diaz on its way. Check swing. Did he go? The last get first. I don't think he did, and he did not. And now. What's going on here with Valdez and Diaz? They're having some words, and, and I think this is a spot right here for Yandi. I mean, you know, get under the kid's skin. There's two on with one out, and Brandon Lau is coming up. Carlos Correa, now he is in a serious pep talk with Framber Valdez, and that has everything to do with don't let these guys talk to you that way. You show them. Runners lead off first and second. Another 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball right side, right out Altuve. Shovels a second for one. Correa on the first. That's a double play. Score at 4-6-3, and the inning is over. So it wasn't easy, but Fromber got through it. Strands a runner. Astros five, Rays one. <laughs> the stare down. I'm not messing with that. The intensity of this postseason. Altuve in scoring position. Here's the 2-2. Breaking balls pulled to the right side, and it gets by. Brasso has it go off his glove. Altuve will score on the RBI single by Brantley, and the Astros lead it 6-1. to one. See if Tucker can knock him in. Brantley's on third. Correa's on second. Here's the pitch, and he rips it. Left field going back on it is Lau, and he's going to make the catch at the warning track. Tagging at third base is Brantley. He'll score, and the Astros lead 7-1. to one. So it's going to be Andre Scrub here. Manuel Margot. There's a long drive deep to left field. That'll make Margot feel good. All the way back to the wall. It's gone. Home run. Manuel Margot, a solo homer, and it's 7-2, to two, Houston. Brandon Lau worked the walk right there. Margot is homered, grounded to third, and struck out looking. First pitch. Swinging another one deep in the air towards left field. Turning and looking as Tucker to the wall. Gone. Home run. Off the ribbon board. Manuel Margot with a two-run home run. It's seven to four, Houston. And now it's Brasso who is 0 for three with a wall. Rays need another base runner to get the tying run to the plate. Two-strike pitch. Ground ball left side to his left. Correa a second for one. Altuve on the first in time, and that is the ball game. There will be a game seven as the Houston Astros defeat the Tampa Bay Rays by a final score of seven to four.